the Virginia yes. Attorney General yesterday gave, gave a bit of a bombshell. He reversed course from the cooch of the previous administration to, uh, to say that he's going to side with Boys and Olson in trying to take down Virginia's same-sex marriage law. What about that? Yeah, the newly elected Attorney General, uh, Mark Herring, he, in his first couple weeks in office, decided to follow the course that the Obama administration and Eric Holder had followed when they decided just not to continue enforcing DOMA, he looked at the he looked at the Virginia anti-gay marriage statute and the U.S. Constitution and the recent Supreme Court cases and made the decision as the officer who would prosecute these cases that he feels that the law is unconstitutional and he won't be going forward. So, Joe, does this mean then that Boys and Olson are thwarted again in trying to get a nationwide rule against same-sex marriage? As we remember, they took on Prop 8, and then California decided to drop its support, leading to the Supreme Court to ultimately punt on the merits of same-sex marriage, saying that California, or those re representing California, didn't have standing to represent the state itself, and we got no ruling from the high court. Is that going to happen this time again in, in Virginia? I, I mean, Virginia probably is a setback, I mean, as it's now joined the progressive the wel welcome progressive arms of Utah and Oklahoma. But just because Virginia is taking itself off the table here, I don't think we're going to be, it's not gonna be long till we have our opportunity. There are plenty of other states that will, uh, give, that will give us the opportunity to forge a national ruling. Yeah, Kevin, I think there are a couple of state clerks, <laughs> county clerks in Virginia that are standing by the constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage there. Uh, but as Joe mentioned, Oklahoma and Utah, those, uh, those bright blue states are leading the charge, really, in the judiciary at least, for taking down same-sex marriage sooner rather than later nationwide. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable. I don't know. I don't know how to explain the uh, the geographic uh, distribution of this stuff. But yeah, I mean, the thing the thing that I was going to say about this case is uh, that you know, a lot of the reaction against it is that uh, you know from the, from the other party they will say, well, you know, here you got a guy who's the attorney general. He's sworn to uphold the laws of the Commonwealth, and he's not going to enforce them. Uh, he needs to resign. And and there is some surface appeal to to this issue that well, it's a little weird for the attorney general to not to declare they will not enforce uh, state laws. And this is actually a law, I didn't realize it's a law that this that the attorney general voted for when he was a state senator. Uh, now he's changed his mind. It actually then was voted into the constitution of the state. So uh, it's a reversal. But um, the, uh, oh, the, the fact is there are plenty of, of laws out there on the books that are not being enforced. And so I think what people forget is that there is, there's a lot of discretion on the part of the executive to, to choose what to enforce and not to enforce, and that the other branches uh, do have a role in determining what is constitutional or, or not, um, given that, except that the, uh, the Supreme Court obviously is the last, uh, the judiciary branch is the last, uh, they get to decide. But short of that, the other branches uh, get involved in constitutional issues too. And that's what he's doing.